these are the paths that we have for our cows to walk on down to the fields. This is one of our fields over here. And right now what we do is we actually pasture our cows in really diverse places in order to preserve our first cutting of hay. So I'll even have the, the cows down there in the woods just a little bit. But today and yesterday they are going down in a hedgerow. And this is just how we try to get our cows out in spring. Cows love to graze. Our cows are grass fed. They still get some of their feed in the barn right now because unlike the rest of the southern part of the country and maybe even out west, we're a few weeks behind on our grass growth. Oh, look at that buzzard. There's like three buzzards in the um, in that tree over there. This is coming down here next to our compost pile and Peter stirred this up yesterday bringing up some compost for our uh, front field that we will be grazing. But I'll see if I can zoom in on that nice little vulture. Oh yeah. He's gonna fly. Dog's not gonna let him get away with it. So, as we come down here, I just share with you kind of our strategy. We have 185 acres of land on our farm. And 120 of that is tillable. So, the far field that you see, that is alfalfa. Below that is native grasses. The next field over is a mixture of clover. And then this field in front of us is, it's a pasture mix that we bought from Lakeview Organic. And our, you can definitely tell if our cows are on this field, they make more milk. It has approximately seven, I think seven different kinds of grasses in it. but. The cows will not go out on this pasture until first cutting's off. There's no manure on that. There's no, uh, the cows haven't grazed on it. They grazed last fall and then we clipped it and then it rested for the winter. So in the spring, we'll take this hedgerow that you see before me and the cows will go all the way down to the end I like to get two days out of each hedgerow. Tomorrow, they'll get actually three days out of that far hedgerow because I have this little area up here. But the whole management thinking is to try to preserve these fields for first cutting hay. We need to get as much as our of our winter forage taken off before the cows get on this and really grazed for the summer. And each of these three fields, there's three fields back here. They all have about 20 to 24 acres of tillable ground. And we will plow sometimes and put a small grain back here or even corn. Um, we try to always underseed it with a hay or a pasture mix for the cows. So, uh, but today we're just gonna concentrate on getting the cows down to the other end of this pasture and getting them out. Now you'll see seriously that this grass is not tall enough for them to graze on. They're gonna graze it right down to nothing. Just like you can see that they, you can definitely see the uh, difference here. But they are getting fed in the barn and they are getting out. They're getting a good portion of their feed from from this right here and they're cleaning that hedgerow up and keeping it nice so this grass is coming along though you can see that it is growing 
but nothing like Ireland or Holland or over in the UK where the cows are really enjoying the grass. Oh, we are so jealous of you guys over there. Believe me, we look at your grass and we just, the weather that you have mm, is so nice. You, you guys are truly blessed. So I'd love to see some pictures on our uh, YouTube channel of other you know, areas of the United States as well that the cows are getting out on pasture. It's just such a good feeling. And it's so good for the cows. Okay, so we won't tell Jake that I'm still using his Kubota. But I'm sure he won't mind. He's like such a sweet boy. And mom will wash it for you. Okay, so I don't want to take up all your time showing you a dirty Kubota. I'm going to get down there, put up some fence, take some pictures, and we will let you have the rest of your day. So these are the reels that we use for grazing. I am so spoiled because for all the years that Peter grazed the cows before, uh, while I was off the farm working, he had maybe two of these kind of reels and he used pools and you could just imagine what he used, but I definitely have a very easy life. So I just want to tell you a little bit about this reel. It has a mechanism in it that will lock. I love this. So um, I can turn it this way to turn it off and this way to turn it on. And that'll just let the string flow for me. And I'll show you that when we get out here. But these are really handy for grazers. So I know there's electric mechanisms that people use and those kind of reels, but for our farm, this is this has been really a blessing. So this is where I'm putting still putting the cows out in this hedgerow. Had a little work to do because I had a tree on the fence up there. But we got it cleaned up. And now I'm going to string this fence. So it's really hard to do this and hold the camera. See how those clouds are rolling over this grass?